second Ezra 13 and 10, brother. Those are the 10 tribes which were carried away prisoners out of their own land in the time of Osea, who we call Atia, who had us in slavery, whom Samananessa, who carried the king of Assyria, led away captive, and he carried them over the waters, and so came they into another land. But they took this counsel among themselves that they would leave the multitude of the heathen and go forth into a further country where never mankind dwelt, that they might there keep their statutes which they never kept in their own land. Precept. Forty-one verse one, Isaiah forty-one verse one, and the Most High is talking to the keep silence before me, O islands. What islands? There's four islands. Thou whom I have taken from the ends of the earth, and called thee from the chief men thereof, and said unto thee, Thou art my servants. I have chosen thee, and not cast thee away. Let's go down. These are the people on the islands. Behold, verse fifteen. Behold. I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument having teeth. Now these people will have a new sharp threshing instrument having teeth. What is it? Judges 15 verse 15. So we had they, these people on the islands at the end of the earth would have had an old, they would have had an old one. Now we're going to get a new one. What was the old one? And he found the new jawbone of an ass and he put forth his hand and took it. So a thousand men with it. So that's the old jawbone. So the most I said to the islands, Isaiah 41, verse 15. He said to these islands that he will make them a new sharp threshing instrument having teeth. Thou shalt thresh the mountains, that's lifting up nations, beat them small, smash them, cut them up, and make the chills as chaff, all the little huppies and all the little teams. I shall fan them, and the wind shall carry them away. So the fanning is when they get sailed out. That's the true meaning of fan them. Where did they get fanned out? To a land that never man crying dwelt. Where's that? The Bible says it's the islands at the end of the earth. Let's go. Down to verse 25. I have raised up one from the north. So this is the northern kingdom. The ten tribes, where did they go? To the islands at the end of the earth. And he shall come. And this is the new coming of the new guy. Who's that? Christ is from the south. Raised in the east. This follows from the north. Revelations. Nineteen verse twelve. His eyes were as a flame of fire. Flame of fire is wine he's no way. Red wine. And then we'll get a precept, the third precept, third witness for that. Let's say Badiah one. These are his two eyes. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame. So his eyes shall be as a flame of fire. Let's go to, back to Revelations. 19, verse 12. And his eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns. And he had a name written that no man knew but he himself. So on his head were many crowns. He's getting the many blessings. Let's go, 49, verse 25, 26. Genesis 49, verse 26. So who's going to get all the blessings and the crowns? You can only get the crowns when you get in the first blessing. And Deuteronomy 28, verse 1. It's been above all nations. So that's the crowns, the blessings. So let's see who's getting the blessings. The blessings of thy, and no man shall know his name but he himself. The blessings of thy father have prevailed above the blessings of my progenitors unto the utmost bounds of the everlasting hills. They shall be on the head of Joseph and on the head of the crown of him that was separate from his brethren. The ten tribes of Joseph, they were separate from their brethren down at the islands at the end of the earth where never mankind dwelt. Mankind never dwelt here. Before we left America, we were here. Before we left Southeast Asia, we were, there was no one here. We were already in those lands that they're claiming we never mankind dwelt. But we were already there. We were in America. We were in Africa. We were in Timbuktu. We were all over the world. But here was where never mankind dwelt. Isaiah 41 explains it's the islands at the end of the world. The chief men thereof. Not the slave men. He said the chief men. Because we still have a history and our records. This is why. Let's go to the proper folk. 
second Ezra, three verse thirty six. Thou shalt find that Israel by name. Now us by name is Ikara, Ikara Ari, Ikas Rishul, Raz the Light, or Angel of Light, or Ed, and Ari is Ariki, a Prince of Power, almost the God. And it's just saying, it says, Thou shalt find that Israel by name hath kept thy precepts, but not the evil. Why? Because they went to this land that we never mankind dwelt to practice their statutes that they never kept in the old lands. When we got here, we kept the Sabbath. We kept all the power. We kept everything. But when the next nations came, we stopped keeping it. But right now, no man shall know his name. As the stone that the builder refused shall be the head cornerstone, eh? Who's that stone? When did Christ get refused? Never. The Most High never refused them. Who got refused? The ten tribes. Us. Let's see who's the stone. But his bow. Joseph is a fruitful bow. Even a fruitful bow by a well. Whose branches run over the wall. Why is he fruitful? Because he kept thy precepts. The archers have surely grieved them. Those are all the other teachers. They've surely grieved us and shot at us and hated us. But his abode, his bow abode in strength. And the arms of his hands were made strong by the hands of the mighty God of Jacob. From hence is the shepherd, the stone of Israel, out of the house of Joseph. And as it is written. Revelations 19 verse 12. Let's go back to the chosen follower. And he had no he had a name written that no man knew, but he himself, I'm from the house of Joseph, I can prove it is Joseph. Now, and he was clothed with a vesture, this is verse 13, and he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood. Whose vesture was dipped in blood? Let's go get it. Genesis chapter 37 verse 31 and they took Joseph's coat they took Joseph's coat and killed a kid of the goats and dipped the coat in the blood let's go back to Revelations 19 verse 12 because we got to establish who we are first and foremost the milk is your roots who is your roots I'm going to prove that us Māori is the ten tribes and the three tribes all here prophesied to come to their ten days and yeah, they're all, we're all scattered abroad, but the elect, we're finding the elect, and the elect, first and foremost, the fir first and foremost, the most I wants the elect found, and then we go save the people. Read. Revelations chapter 19, verse 13. And he was clothed with a vit, and he was clothed with a, vit, a vesture dipped in blood. Christ's blood. He's the, he's the donkey that carries Christ into power. Read. And his name is called the Word of God. And that's his name is called the Word of God because he's telling you the truth. Now let's go to verse 16. Who can fulfill these? 1916. This is a doctrine they were in ever tried, you know. So this guy's got to have this too. It's not, a, it's not a guy, it's a body, eh? What's not a guy? The Savior. Okay. I'll just read that though. Revelation chapter 19, verse 16. And he hath on his vesture and on his thigh a name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. That's what we get. Go to, go to um, Obadiah. One last verse. I oh, know go to uh, Revelation 14 and 1. We'll show them the same years. We'll show them the body of Christ. It's a team effort. We have to gather ourselves together and do it together. Revel Revelation chapter 14 verse 1. Read. And I looked and lo, a lamb stood on Mount Zion. Is our lamb. Whatever Christ says, our commandments. Read. 
and with him 144,000 having his father's name written in their forehead. Who are these people? Go to Obadiah, last verse. Is it Esau getting judged at the end? So let's go see who's doing it. Obadiah chapter 1 verse 21 And saviors shall come up on Mount Zion What? And saviors shall come up on Mount Zion That's saviors my brother Saviors you're one Joseph is the mouth Jacob and Esau you know Judas the head Simeon Levi All the part Christ said have me a body ready when I come back So we want a body of power keepers or law keepers Go to um, 7 and 3, Revelations, because this is what we're here to do. Revelations chapter 7, verse 3, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God with their foreheads. So that's what we're here to seal, is that elect. Who is it? Let's find the elect. Let's go back around in a second. Isaiah 41. We'll find who's the chosen ones. I'll well, go 41 verse 8. Just so the brothers know it's just us. The slaves need Moses to get them out. They've already done their leg before 100 years. Bro, who's Moses? Where was he at? Was he in there in Egypt? No, he was somewhere else, bro. Here. He's, you're Moses. You're from there. You're, you're Moses himself. Why don't we get circumcised on the level? Because Moses took the rap for us. But the only nation who don't get it. Why? Because Moses didn't teach his kids it. Isaiah chapter 41, verse 8. Yep. But thou, Ikaro, art my servant. Say it in English. But thou, Israel, art my servant. So everyone knows the Israelites are the servants. But the Most High only requires 144k. Read. Jacob, whom I have chosen, yeah. Yeah. the seed of Abraham, my friend. The seed, brothers. Not the, not the, not the spirit. The seed. We got the seed. Straight from Maui himself. You got it from himself. I'm from Joseph himself. He's from Maui too. He's your brothers. He's all Pui. Pui means the virgin nation. That's not defiled by woman. These men are not defiled by woman. Who's that man? Pui. The only one who's got a sovereign nation fulfilling Levi's prophecy. That's why the Haitians say they leave right. Because they've, we've, we've, what, we've done it. We've got a nation that's sovereign against that's what Levi did. Read. Whether you the you're, you're we. Thou whom I have taken from the ends of the earth. Now this is who the elect is. The ones that, uh, everyone knows the Israelites, but there is the sand of the sea. Only the most high only needs just a little bit. Read. And called thee from the chief men thereof. Just thee, brother. He didn't call the slave or the prisoner of war. He called the chief men thereof from the islands at the end of the earth. Read. And said unto thee, thou art my servant. You're the servant for today. Read. I have chosen thee and not cast thee away. Yeah. No, that's why no one read these things. You won't hear this, Isaiah 41. Because everyone knows it says, keep silence before me, O islands. What islands now? The ones at the end of the earth. Now let's go to verse 25, brother. So you know it's the island from the rising of the sun, brother. Isaiah 41, verse 25. I have raised up one from the north. He always raises up one from the north. That's Joseph. Read. And he shall come from the rising of the sun. Now he's at the islands at the end of the earth from the chief moon there, from the rising of the sun. But who gets the sun first? Us. He's... He, Showing you exactly. Go up to 22. Isaiah 41, verse 22. Let them bring them forth. Why, 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 why these people? Read, said. Let them bring them forth. We gotta bring them forth because we're the stone that the builder refused. Why? The stone is Christ holding up the holding up the world. Is the stone on the side helping them? If you pull that stone away, the building falls, brother. Why? Because we're the ones who love it. Our culture is the Israelite culture. You, everyone wants to know what it looked like. It's our culture, brother, that's getting 
that was world dominance back in the ancient times. We wore the pipi to the knee. Why? That's the um, that's Levi or the house of um, Aaron's sons. They had to wear the pipi to, to, the, to the knee caps to cover your pool because it's telling you prophecies, Papa. It's called Tamari, the King of Kings, Lord of Lords. It'll tell you your fucker, Papa, and it'll tell you your thing. We don't print like the heathens do. We put true. When there's no pen and paper, you gotta you gotta write it down somehow. And then the most high ordained it to be written in our flesh. Just for today. Keep reading. Let them bring them forth. So we're gonna bring the prophets forth. Read. And show us what shall happen. So we're gonna show everybody from this corner of the world what's gonna happen. Let them show the former things. We're gonna show the former things, brother. These other people can't show the former things. The former things is what we're still trying to practice today as the Maori when you walk on. We have protocols, we have who we so professionalism, brother. That's our high standard of society if you can sit down and have a hui before war. Actually sit down and yarn before you go to war. That's that's a high level civilization. We have an angel out the gate doing the widow on you. Read. And show us what shall happen. We'll show you what shall happen. Read. Let them show the former things. We're showing the former things how it was in ancient days. What they be. This is how it was. That we may consider them and know the latter end of them. Yep, read. Or declare us things for to come. So these elect has to declare the rest of the Israelites what's going to come. These are the shop callers of the rest of them. We're putting, giving our mana to them and letting them be our shop callers. When they're the sinners, brother, when we're the ones who came to this land to practice our law, statutes and commandments, right. they broke the code and put us. Joseph did nothing wrong. He went into slavery for everyone else's wickedness. Ephraim and all the teacher got booted out at the beginning, but it says they um, go to verse 8 or 9 again. So we know that they never got passed out. And this is what the Israelites teach that the, 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 the ones who get grafted in is the Gentiles who are the Israelites. Let's tell them, read. Thou whom I have taken from the ends of the earth, and, again. and called thee from the chief men thereof, read. and said unto thee, Thou art my servant. Read. I have chosen thee and not cast thee away. What? I have chosen thee and not cast thee away. See, there's the cast out ones. We got the cast out from America. Where's our home? They are standing on our land there. America. All of it. Yeah. Amari Ika. We call it, they call it Mizrahi. When you read it, it says Matera. Yeah. It's a place of death. Egypt means Mati in our language. They say Mis, Misra. We say Matera. It's a, in, in, yeah. We'll fulfill, like I'll tell you a Maori prophecy that Maori, him and his brothers, right? 12 brothers, him and his 12 brothers are gonna leave from here and go where the sun, right? Where the sun comes from and go and conquer um, Tamatera's people. Now let's see if that's gonna happen. Go to Ezra, 2nd Ezra 13 25. What we say is what the Bible says. Because Maui's prophecies haven't happened yet. So Ganesha's chapter 13, verse 25. This is the meaning of the vision. Whereas thou sawest a man coming up from the midst of the sea. So where's this man from? Go up to um, 40. You've got to know where this man's from, eh? This is the Savior, one of them. 40. Yeah, let's go to 40. Which, where's this man from? Read. Those are the ten tribes which were carried away prisoner. So he's an Israelite from the ten tribes, this man from the sea. Yeah, brother. Go back to 25. Just read along so the brothers know about themselves, who they are, how important they are. Read. Zikonezha, so chapter 13, verse 25. This is the meaning of the vision. Whereas thou sawest the man coming up from the midst of the sea. From the end of the earth, from the islands thereof, from the rising of the sun. No man shall know his name but he himself. Read. The same as he whom God the highest hath kept the great season. So this is the, he saved us. The great season is the end time. Read. Which by his own self. By your own selves, brothers, our own little island, the smallest nation on earth. Read. Shall deliver his creature. His creature. Who's that? He could all the people. In slavery. Read. Yeah. And he shall order them that are left behind. We're going to order them, brother. That's our rank. That's your mana you carry. Don't give it away anymore, please, brothers. Your mana is on 
your mana is Christ's level. He's your brother. Yeah, bro. You carry him on your back. How are we giving him the way? Now, like, um... I might have you confused with someone else. Now, because, um, a lot of Māori dudes I've met, um, put their doctrine before ours. A song we've been singing for thousands of years, their songs only been sung since the 60s that we gave them. Okay. Yeah. We, we definitely do teach different Yeah, yeah different fella. Yep. I already know that. Read. I'm just going to give, I'm going to give you your, who you are. And whereas thou source, that out of his mouth there came as a blast of wind and fire so this is and the storm. with the two-edged sword in his mouth. Read. And that he held neither sword nor any instrument of war. Not by his own mouth. And by what? But that the rushing in of him destroyed the whole multitude that came to subdue him. One man can't do that, brother. But a team of 144,000 can. Read. This is the interpretation. This is the interpretation, read. Behold, behold, the days come. The days here now, read. When the Most High will, bec will begin to deliver them that that's, are upon the earth. That's why everyone's waking up, learning all these doctrines, coming back to the Most High's laws, read. And it shall come to the astonishment of them that dwell on the earth. Yeah, he's astonished, bro. This world, we're there, we're, you meant to have a body prepared for me, read. And one shall undertake to fight against another. This is all our different ideologies. Read. One city against another. Read. One place against another. That's why we all have different ideologies. Read. One people against another. That's right. Read. And one realm against another. It's not a it's not a war. It's a spiritual war. So the spiritual war is through the word. The word is getting different ideologies. Everyone's got different doctrines. Read. And the time shall be when these things shall come to pass. Read. And the sign shall happen. Yeah, that's happened. We already know everyone's on different minds. Read. Which I shoot before thee. He's already told you a long time ago, read. Which I shoot thee before. Yeah. And then shall my son be declared. Now his son is going to be declared, my brothers. From the house of Joseph. Read. Whom thou sawest as a man ascending. Now you're going to see him from the gutter all the way up to the... He's going to be rising. With his people, read. And when all the people hear his voice. When you hear our voices. Every gonna, man shall... In their own land, leave the battle. So, by us bringing out this doctrine, everyone's other doctrines is going to hearken and stop and cease, and then the ideologies change into one sound mind, one sound doctrine. The end days doctrine. Read. In their own land, leave the battle. Mm. They have one against another. Now nah, they're all going to come together. Read. And then, and innumerable multitude shall be gathered together Read. as thou sawest them willing to come and to overcome him by fighting those are the ten tribes against us Read. but he shall stand upon the top of the Mount Sion ten. Read. and Sion shall come and shall be shewed to all men we're going to show you how it is to how the cornerstone rolls bro. being prepared and building like as thou sawest the hill graven with our hands so this has been planned from the beginning the Most High has been playing with our culture this the culture here on the end of the earth on these islands for this day. Read. And this, my son, shall rebuke the wicked inventions of those nations. What? And this, my son, shall rebuke the wicked inventions of those nations. We're to rebuke the wicked inventions, all the stupid ideologies that everybody got. Read. Which for their wicked love are fallen into the tempest. Read. And shall lay before them their evil thoughts. That's right. Read. And the torments wherewith they shall begin to be tormented. So that's why the Saviour is going to come and judge Esau in his mount, his uh, maunga, his hapu, his Hebrew child. My Hebrew brother, got to judge our Hebrew brother Esau. Read. Which are like unto the flame. Which like, which are like unto our flame. And he shall destroy them without labour. No, we're going to destroy them with the cup. So if we know the three on top of them. Um, what, does, what does it make us as brothers? Does, does it make us human beings? Or? No. No, you'll just be like a Jito. Yep. He needs to repent, come back to Wakapu Tonga Māori, okay. sign up under your nation as an as a, as a Israelite, yep. leave your old names behind, bring in your father's names under your house of your father, and be your own governing nation and govern yourselves and be sovereign unto the Lord. What's the flag got to do with uh, the Bible? The most highest nation. Yeah. When did this flag come out? 
1835. Oh. But it's got no citizens, brother. Oh. Nah, no, nothing. Yeah, nah, nah. I see it a lot, though, but I... Nah, there's no citizens, brother. Oh. And when you sign, this is where we've got to make marriage to. You know, a bond woman and a bond man is when you sign this birth certificate. Yeah. You become a Gentile. Yeah. But when you come back under here, you're no longer Gentile. You're back oh, to your haku. Okay. As a New Zealander, we're under iwi. And iwi is not hapu, hapu is Hebrew. Hapu is this. Yeah, mm. yeah bro. Oh, we believe that keeping the commandments is, is make, uh, brings us out of the Gentile state of mind. State, yep. Mm. yep. Uh, on paper, no, probably not. But that doesn't matter to us. If we're keeping the commandments, they can do whatever they want with us. Yep. Because all that's required of us according to scripture is keeping the commandments. If we see this way, brother, we're going to shoot off. Can I just finish this? Okay, then, brother. Yep. Sweet ears. Um, go to um, 19 verse 17. Yes. No, no, um, Revelations. Revelations chapter 19, verse 17. And I saw an angel standing in the sun, and he cried with a loud voice, saying to, saying to all the fowls that fly in the midst of heaven. Say, so, I'm welcoming everybody, saying, I admire to all the Manuiri. Read. Come and gather yourselves together unto the supper of the great God. Come and eat what we eat. This is what our God eats. Read. That ye may eat the flesh of kings. What? That ye may eat the flesh of kings. Read. And the flesh of captains, read. And the flesh of mighty men, read. And the flesh of horses, read. And of them that sit on them, and of the flesh of all men, both free and bond, both small and great. So we're welcoming everybody to come and eat off the Lord. We're going to make you a king. We're going to give you high power. We're going to get you a sovereign nation. We got you something. We're going to have your tribe under your family's name, and you can be sovereign from these damn heathens. That's the truth. That's how we do it because this is made under the Messiah power. Yahweh, ha, Yahweh. Yahweh means the Creator, who gives you the Hawa, the everlasting life. Yahweh means when you became enlightened and then rise from the dead. Yahweh. All okay, praise to the Messiah power. Can we get um, Revelation 19, verse 11? Revelation chapter 19 verse 11 Read And I saw heaven open Now he saw heaven open, that's us, we heaven Read And behold a white horse Our white nation Read And he that sat upon him was called faithful and true we faithful and true Read And in righteousness he doth judge and make war No we're not here to just, we're just here to keep the commandments What are we here to do? Read Judge and make war What? Judge and make war What? Judge and make war. So we're here to judge and make war. We're not going to muck around with it. We're going to do the commandments. That's right. All oh, praises to the Most High Power. Oh, praise. A wise son is he who listens. See, and the bros listen well, and I give them respect for listening. So, Aroha Yamatu, Wa, Yahawa, Ha, Yaha, all praise to the Most High Power. We were slaves of Egypt, we belong to the Father, ain't no pledge of lead. Both to celebrate that killing that he didn't need to. Both to keep the holy days, don't be like the heathen. He said that for a reason. We in Babylon, coming back with our 